Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyText. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can force apps to be moved from your phone storage to your SD card on Android phones, even when they do not initially provide you the option to change storage. Obviously, this strategy is mostly for freeing up storage space on your phone by moving some apps from the phone storage to the SD card or vice versa. For my use case, over the past few days, I've been getting this notification saying storage space running out. It further warns that this may slow down the phone, so I need to delete some stuff. It also gives me the option to transfer some media files. Now, when I check the details of my storage, I see that I have just about 1.4 GB left on my phone storage, while I have about 28 GB on the SD card. Now in the past, I had made a tutorial where I covered 7 possible ways to free up phone storage space on Android phones. In that tutorial, one of the methods was by moving your apps from the phone storage to the SD card. I was going to use that approach in this case, but then I realized that most of my apps are no longer giving the option to move them to the SD storage. So I had to find a way around this, which is what I'll be sharing in this tutorial. It's quite a straightforward process and requires almost no technical skills. And now without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so before we get into the details of this approach, here are a few important points to note. First, this process is in a way forcing the Android system to allow an operation it would normally not allow. So it's advisable to use it sparingly. I haven't had any issues in the past as a result of moving my apps from one storage medium to another. But as a general rule, it's always advisable to back up your files and data before performing such operations. Second, the reason most apps have removed this possibility of moving them from phone storage to other secondary storages is mainly to avoid lags in their operations due to the read-write speed limit of the secondary storage devices. As such, you could possibly experience some lags on the moved apps. In my case, I only move apps that I rarely use or apps I can tolerate delays when using them. Finally, not all apps can be moved even with this method. More specifically, most of the default apps that come with the phone or Android itself can be moved by almost any method, except of course if the phone gets rooted and you go through all the advanced stuff, but this approach allows you to move practically all other apps that you might have installed on your phone to the SD card if you want. Here for example, the Audible app allows me to readily change the storage from phone to SD card and vice versa. But then this card do app doesn't display the change option in the storage section just as we saw with the audible so i'm going to force it to give this option to do that first need to enable the developer option on the android device and for that simply swipe down and tap the gear icon to get into your settings here scroll down and locate about phone and tap on it on the about phone page tap on the software information Now here you need to tap on the build number 7 consecutive times to activate the developer mode. It should ask your password or pattern and once you have entered that, it should say developer mode has been turned on. Now if you go back two steps, you should have your developer options under the about phone. Tap to open it. Now here you need to carefully search for where it says force allow apps on external it's usually down the list so you might need to scroll down a bit and when you find it simply toggle the switch to enable the option and that basically completes the process now when you go back to the non-default apps that initially wouldn't give you the option to move them to sd storage you should now have the option to do so for instance when i go back to the cardo app Tap on storage and right on the storage used I now have the option to change from internal to SD card. Here it wants that the app cannot be used during the process and that the SD card shouldn't be removed. I will just tap move and wait for the process to complete. Now with that, I have successfully moved the Cardo app from the phone storage to the SD card and the same exact steps apply to all other apps in this category. 
And that is it for this tutorial. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and share with anyone you think might want to see. Drop us a comment if you have any questions or feedbacks. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for updates on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.